Hi friends, welcome to another vlog this week. Today I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I've been meaning to do like an updated hair tutorial and also an updated makeup tutorial. I've been doing like this eyeliner that you guys really like, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then I'm gonna show you how to do this like half up hairstyle that you guys also seem to really like. So we're gonna have like a little beauty segment in today's vlog. I've been meaning to get around to this, so I thought I would just add it into a vlog instead of making like an IGTV or just a tutorial video or something. So for my hair today, I am going to be using my tote bag set that I created with Eva NYC. If you guys don't already know, I literally love them so much and I've been using them forever like this. Curling Iron has created every single hairstyle that you've ever asked me about, probably. I love them, and this is what the tote looks like. This is part of their Good Hair Day collection, so these are the things that I use to have a good hair day, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I do it. So, obviously my hair is dry, but in my kit, in my tote bag comes the Main Magic Shampoo and Conditioner. This is my favorite everyday shampoo and conditioner. It makes my hair so soft. It smells incredible. It has 10 benefits all in one formula. It's so, so good. I highly recommend this. My hair absolutely loves it and feels really healthy every time I use it. I only wash my hair about once a week though, just as like a side note because that's kind of a common question as well. And then this is the Main Magic 10 in one primer. It also has all these amazing benefits and good things and I spray this on my hair literally every single day at least if I'm heat styling so if I'm like throwing it up in a bun or my hair is already heat styled I don't use this but if I blow dry straight and curl anything like that I use this every single day and then obviously my curling wand I have this on 370 and we're just going to curl the hair okay so I'm gonna start with the primer Also smells really really good and we're just gonna work that throughout my hair and my face is always more pale than the rest of my body because I never put it in the Sun so if anyone is wondering why there you go and I try to put self tanner on my face to counteract that but it just fades really fast because I wash my face two times a day every day and I just get stuck in my hairline like this, so love my life. This is just pretty basic. I have a lot of tutorials on how I curl my hair, and this is how I do it every single time. So I'm not going to go into great detail, but this is the curling iron I literally always use. And let's see if this reaches. We're just going to do some pieces away from the face. And I'm always pointing the curling iron down. Hold on there for a couple of seconds. And I leave the end kind of out. This literally creates the best curls of my life. And then I'm going to alternate. Curling iron still goes pointing down. We just went away from the face, right? Okay, yeah. So now we're going towards the face. And I like to just do away and towards the face because it creates more of a textured look with your hair. It looks a little more natural. But also, lately, I have done a couple of days where I actually curled all of my hair away from my face. Um, I just wanted to see what it would look like if it was more cohesive like that. And I actually really liked it. It was more polished looking for sure. And I felt a little more preppy and kind of girly, which isn't my normal vibe but I could appreciate the look so on a normal basis I'm always alternating but if you want it to be a little more polished or clean looking or if you're going for like an old Hollywood look you could do it all away from the face and then use like a wide tooth comb to brush it out but this is on 370 again so this is kind of like the curls that we're creating they're a little bit tight right now so I could even 
turn the heat down more if I wanted to, but my curls do fall a little bit. I kind of just let it be like a little bit tighter on the first day or so, and then on the second day or by the end of the first day, it's like the perfect undone kind of tousled look and i wear these curls for days on end so i won't wash these out or restyle them for like five days maybe and sometimes i have to do a couple of touch-up curls after sleeping on it but generally speaking this styling gets me through so many days which is really really nice this part isn't super enchanting i don't know why i use that word it was inspired by Taylor Swift, obviously. But it is how I do it, so. I'm just gonna go through all of my hair and do the same thing that I'm doing right here. Section it off piece by piece. I have very thick hair, so it takes, takes a village, as they say. No, it just takes a while. I'm still working my way through my hair, but I just share this. My foot just fell asleep and it's coming out of it obviously because I moved and now I'm just like wiggling my toes and stuff but I need to know if other people also feel like your foot being asleep and coming out of it is one of the most like uncomfortable feelings or is this like a weird thing about me like I think it literally is so uncomfortable it like tickles really bad which I find really uncomfortable and I don't know it doesn't like hurt it just tickles and it feels like oh my god when is this gonna stop it's very intense for me so yeah that it, the closest thing that i can compare it to is just like it tickling really bad but in a way that's like i need you to stop tickling but like you're not going to so i'm just trapped at the mercy of my own blood flow and that was today's hair curling pop please report back if you think like me or if you're normal Hair is actually getting so long for me. It's crazy. I'm seeing how long I can grow it out and then I'll probably chop it off again. I do really like short hair. I find it to be very fun. I also think that sometimes like long hair is too much for me. Like it can kind of consume me if it gets too long. It's kind of addicting though to like grow it out and see how long you can go. So right now I'm just, I'm just chilling. On these top layer pieces i don't go as high up to the root i kind of do like three quarters of my hair maybe whereas on normal ones i go it's a little bit closer to the root and then for the bangs i always go away from the face i feel like that just looks better it's like frames your face better and i kind of scoot the curling iron around like this voila if you guys are ever wondering what I get done to my hair for color and cut and everything, I pretty much always bring the vlog to the hair salon when I get my hair done so you guys can see literally exactly what I asked for and exactly what my hairstylist did. So I just got my hair done actually last week on last week's vlog. So, ow, oh my god, ow. Just pulling my hair. If you guys missed it or you're curious about this hair color or anything like that, it's all on there. I didn't get my hair cut last time. I don't get my hair cut super often, actually. But the last time I did get it cut is on a vlog, so it's the one where I got bangs. And now those bangs are grown out a little bit. We're still working on it. You can see this one hanging in my face. Okay, I think we are fully curled. I'm going to go get a brush and kind of just like brush out the ends. Love her. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of brush out the ends, loosen up the curls a little bit, make them look a little more lived in. Use your fingers too. And like I said, these are just gonna last for like a week, which is really nice. And now we're gonna do the styling. So basically, for this, I'll just section off some bangs and you can go like as thick or as thin as you like. I I go pretty thick and then you're just going to take your two fingers and scoop up your hair kind of evenly on both sides. I'm not super meticulous about it. It can be a little messy. I don't mind. Do your thing though however you like. And then I'm just going to take a hairband kind of smooth out this 
area a bit. I don't use a brush or anything. And then I'm just gonna secure her, squeeze her, the top of the head like that. And then you can take like a piece of hair and wrap it around the elastic too. Touch up any curls you need to, but yeah, this is pretty much like one of my go-to hairstyles. It's really simple. And these curls are just like the base for so many hairstyles that I do. Like high pony, a half pony like this, a slicked back half pony. When I put little braids in my hair, I love using that. Even with my natural texture, sometimes I'll add a couple of pieces with that curling iron. So everything that I use for this, you guys can get in my tote from Eva and it's a really good value for the price so I'll link it in the description box and and I'm so honored and so grateful to have done this with Eva and I'm also so honored and so grateful every time one of you decides to purchase it so thank you guys I appreciate you and I hope that you can use all the tools in it to have the best hair day ever because that's how it makes me feel and now let's do a little makeup tutorial okay I actually just put my headband on over my hairstyle I didn't take it out at all so I look a little crazy, but it's not gonna mess up my hairstyle. It's resilient. My hair's resilient. So we got this. I'm gonna start with foundation. I obviously already did my skincare and stuff. My favorite foundation brush, and I'm gonna use my favorite foundation. I have been mixing it with this Tula primer lately, so I'll do like a pump and a half of the primer. And then this is the misguided foundation that I literally I can't even talk about it. Like I'm just kidding, it's so dramatic. I literally lived my whole life for this foundation though. Like every last drop this is the shade 12 and i'm also going to mix it with shade 10 today this is the best foundation i've ever used for sure like i'm so obsessed with it it's very affordable it looks like skin it's full coverage it blends so well i just can't get enough of it i stay within the colors of 10 11 and 12 depending on what time of year it is and if i have a tan and things like that and I literally always use this brush to apply it. I don't know if you guys can tell on this camera, but I have some highlights on my Instagram, all my makeup, that shows it really well, just in like no filter, like natural light. It's just so good. I can't say enough good things about it. And a couple of weeks ago, I went to like link it for you guys and I realized that it was off the website. Like it was fully gone. It, the listing didn't exist anymore. And I was like, what the hell is going on? Like where is my favorite foundation of all time? This is super sketchy. And it was off the website for a few weeks. I don't know if it, it was on the UK website always, but off the US one. So I don't know what happened. It's back now. And as soon as I saw it come back, I literally ordered it in like bulk, which was very impulsive and unnecessary. But I was like, oh my God, that was so scary. I didn't know what I was gonna do. I'm gonna have to find a new foundation that would probably never compare. If you haven't tried that yet, I literally don't know what you're doing. Next, I'm gonna go in with the shape tape by Tarte. This is in the shade light neutral actually. I think I normally get sand. I'm just gonna like try to cover up my dark circles. I don't know why because they never actually go away and it freaking drives me crazy. But you know we all have little things like that about ourselves that like probably other people don't even notice as much or other people don't care and you're just always gonna care and it's always gonna bug you so you're not alone. I have actually recently considered getting like under eye filler. If you guys don't watch my Q and A's every week, I pretty much always answer the question if I've had Botox or filler and I never have. I would tell you if I did, obviously. I'm just like scared to put that substance in my body kind of. I don't know why. I'm not afraid of needles. I've, I've been considering, I've been thinking about it. Me and a friend have been talking about it and We'll see if I decide to do that or not. Obviously, don't think anyone needs to do anything like that. And if anyone wants to do anything like that, also, I have no problem with it. I just let people do what they want. And I, I like really appreciate when people let me do what I want, I should say. But like, no one's stopping me from doing what I want. So that doesn't even make sense. But I appreciate when you don't try to. Because A, you wouldn't be successful at it anyways. So you're wasting your time. And B just way cooler if you like don't care what someone else is doing with their life kudos to you people who don't care all right that was a weird random rant so concealer and foundation is on then i'm gonna go in with this airspun translucent 
powder. This costs like $5. It's so affordable. And this big fluffy brush. I'm just gonna kind of like pat this. I have oily skin. So a little setting powder always does me good. Later on in the day, it will look like I'm in the tropical jungle or something. Next, we are gonna contour. This palette has been my ride or die for so long. I actually really need a new one. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, and I just mix the bottom three colors. And this brush is a MAC 135. Just gonna carve out my cheekbones. And then I'll do the same for my jawline. And my forehead, bring that down to the temples. And we're gonna go in and contour the nose. I like to kind of like contour my bottom lip as well. It's kind of just like a lip liner, but with contour. I think my top lip is actually bigger than my bottom lip. I kind of like to do this to even them out. Sometimes I'll contour the top lip too, but that one is harder to do. And sometimes we're just not feeling the vibe. So I'm going to go in and blend this out my nose, making myself feel like I have to sneeze. Then I'm going to go in with bronzer. This is the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer and Sunkissed. And just like a fluffier brush, kind of just go over contour. So a nice like warmer tone. Liven up the face a bit. The glow up is happening. While we're here, I'm also gonna use like an eyeshadow brush and that bronzer. This is just like a fluffy brush, and I'm gonna kind of just this is like super messy and casual. Not a makeup artist, clearly. Um, I'm gonna just like sweep that over my lid and also kind of like wing it out a bit. We're gonna be doing like a cat eye. It's reverse cat eye, technically. Look, um, this is the one you guys have been asking about a lot on Instagram. So on the lid, we're just gonna do something kind of like simple and light like that. Okay, next I'm going to do blush. So this is Freck Cheek Slime in the shade Cuffed, I believe. Yes. And I'm going to use this brush, my favorite blush brush. Actually, I have a new blush brush that I'm really obsessed with, too. I have to show you guys. I'll do a little layering of this. This is a liquid blush, which I really like the consistency of that. I'm going to kind of focus this on the high points of my cheeks. And this is a really pretty kind of like peachy pinky blush. I feel like it's kind of like an innocent blush color. It's kind of just like sweet, youthful. And then I like to take that over the nose too. Just give you like a little sun-kissed look. This is the other blush brush that I'm obsessed with. It's like angled and it actually came with this like blush highlighter palette situation which i don't really like highlighter on my cheeks normally but this stuff is so pretty so i mostly just focus the brush on the more blushy side and just like pat that do you guys see like what that did instantly it's insane it's so pretty and this just like fits the shape of your cheekbones so nicely that's good for blush. I guess what we can do is some more of the eyes now. So I'm gonna take a smaller brush and go in with that bronzer again. This is just like a smaller fluffy brush. I'm gonna go on the lower lash line. And just kind of smoke that out. Reverse cat eye is like heavy on the bottom which is something I was very weirded out by at first. And like, I think especially because I have dark circles on my eyes, I was like, oh, I don't, I don't know if this is gonna work for me. And then I didn't really think it did work for me, but you guys were really nice about it on social media. And you're like, no, it looks good. I love it. So and I was like, okay, they, they wouldn't lie to me. So then I kept trying it and then I, I grew to love it too. So here we are. We're gonna start with that like brown 
on the lower lash line kind of just like smoke it out and then i'm gonna go in with a charcoal like is that what it's called coal eyeliner i don't know why i said charcoal and just like line the lower lash line which i'm not gonna try to talk when i do this because it's kind of like a weird experience And then you can just take a little and like flick it off the side and we're gonna like go blend that too. So now that we've done that, you can take that same little brush and kind of smoke it out with that, just like blending them together a bit. Sorry, like I look so weird doing that. And then, we are gonna take a black eyeshadow and a little angled brush, super like fine angled brush. And this is the important part, so I'm gonna get it closer. You're basically just gonna like pat this or like stamp this into your waterline. Kind of like sealing the deal with the other liner nice layer and then you can just kind of flick that out on the other side. so kind of like that take that same brush and the same liner and then for this like inner eye part you're literally just going to like very precisely and calmly kind of like stamp this into the inner corner and since it's shadow it's really easy to fix if you mess it up Okay, you can take that same brush and some brown again, just make sure we're all smoked out. It creates like a very sultry, seductive look. Then I'm just gonna curl my lashes. This is a great like night out look. It's a little, it's a little like more clubby I guess which let me know if you literally ever catch me in a club I've never been to a club actually I think I went for my friend's birthday for like four minutes one time just to like politely say hello but then I was like I have to get out of here this is not my life so yeah don't ask me why I'm wearing like a clubby eye look every single day casually when I've never even been to a club but here we are stranger things have happened so I'm just gonna do mascara when I first started doing this eye look, I was wearing mascara on the bottom. Maybe I should do it like that again. I just love like a top mascara look, but because this is all about the lower lash line, I feel like it's a good time. Just like a light layer of mascara on the bottom. While the mascara is kind of setting, before I put on my lashes, I'm going to do my brows. I got my brows laminated recently, which was also in a vlog. Like, come on, I bring you guys everywhere. Just kidding. I don't know why I said that like that, but it's true. I bring you everywhere. So hopefully you enjoy that They use like a new product a new Laminating product that's not as tense. I guess it's like gentler, which is great But I feel like my brows didn't take to it as well. I definitely like when they're like super Sticky uppy. I'm using the Cabrow by Benefit what I always use. Pomade in shade 4. I live for her. I've used her every day for the past 75 years. I love a dark brow. A dark bold brow. Which I don't have naturally. Have, I can't with my itchy nose. I have a um, I have a blonde brow naturally. So I make them much darker than they are. And that might not be Everyone's cup of tea. But that's okay. Because nobody has to wear it but me. I feel like every time I do a makeup tutorial, I just go on some weird... Or like a get ready with me, I should call it, because it's very casual. I go on some weird rants about like, don't. Don't hop in the comments and tell me what to do with my face, because it's gonna piss me off. It's just weird. It's weird how it always goes there. Let's sleep. I don't do like the front of my brow until the end of... I make up for some reason. I don't know why. 
And then I'm gonna use these lashes. I can't even remember what lashes these are. Hopefully they're cute. I did not find them in a box, so. The duo lash glue. I was gonna say gel. Black is my go-to, which I've talked to a lot of people about, and I think it's pretty random that that's my go-to. Like, every everyone else is like, I would never use the black glue. And I'm like, I don't know why I do, to be honest. Ever since I started using it, I liked it, and I've never really strayed. Okay, while we're here, I'm going to, like, flick this out a little more. Smoke it out. I feel like this eye look can be very messy and it still looks good, which is nice. Like, it's really forgiving, actually. Okay, this is a random thought that I have, but you know, like, every beauty blogger will be like, I'm gonna go put my lashes on off camera. And to me, I'm always like, why do they do that? Like, I personally say that and would do that because it's like probably embarrassing how long and like funky I am no how long it takes and how like weirdly I do it when I put my lashes on like I'm like oh no one should see this I should hide this like catastrophe which I didn't I just let you guys see me do that weirdly so you know I'm just gonna flip this glue over and use that weirdly I feel like I would do that to like hide my lack of skill but I don't know if they say it because it's like hard to film that part so they're just always doing it off camera because it's not worth trying to capture but even then I feel like they could still they don't have to show it like close up they could just show it kind of far away and you could not really know what was going on but it would still be like you saw that part of the tutorial I don't know it's really not an issue. I don't care. Either way. It was just like a... It was a thought out of curiosity. Because I know that I would do it off camera so I could save myself some... Some grief from the people of like, Oh my god. That's not how you should put on lashes. Here I am going on another rant. I wonder how Clayton feels editing his uh, makeup tutorial rants. I got lash glue stuck in my lower lash line because I am that unskilled. We're just gonna try to cover it up with some brown eyeshadow. This eye is always hard for me. We're almost there, we're almost done. I'm gonna move on to the lips. I'm gonna use the About Face Lip Liner in Raw Kiss. These are really good lip liners. Overline, obviously. These like glide on so easily, they're not dry at all. I like to do a little line. Okay, and then I'm gonna use this lipstick in Lilac from Bobbi Brown. Kinda tie this in. It's kind of like a purpley pink. I love like a pink lip. I'm gonna use this. In Embrace, this is the Revlon, like, go-to. It's like a lighter pink, but pretty similar. And then I'll do a little highlighter on my nose. I don't have my normal one, but I'll just use this Laura Geller palette in the, like, highlighter corner, quad, quadrant. I came with my nose and my eyes watering. We are having an allergic reaction. And then I'm gonna go in and do like some little faux freckles because I love those. I like the look of faux freckles too because I feel like it kind of makes your other imperfections, we'll call them. Like if you have texture or if you have a zit or all those normal things. These kind of like make them look more normal. And then I have a beauty mark right by my lip and I kind of just need to fill it in and make it a little darker sometimes. I just have to finish my brows. Do that like front part. I just use the same product as I filled them in with. 
And then last step, I'm going to use this setting spray. I really want to try that new um, Desi setting spray. Kind of like blow my lips out a little bit. And that's it. That is my updated makeup and on a couple of the different ways or like the most asked about ways recently. This hairstyle and this makeup. So obviously I don't do my hair and my makeup the same every single day, but I have been wearing both of these a lot lately. So hopefully this helps for you guys. If you have any questions, you can always drop them in the comments and I'll try to better explain anything that I didn't do a great job at because I get a little like flustered and distracted when I'm doing my makeup and trying to like talk through it. So if you guys have questions, just let me know. And thanks for watching. We'll continue the vlog. It rained here today. Mid, yeah, it rained mid, a midsummer morning rain. Midsummer stream. I haven't had that in a long time. Okay, this is kind of hot to hold. It also like never rains here in the Oh ow. In the winter. It doesn't rain in California. We're in a drought in case. Pretty much it doesn't, yeah. We didn't. This is still hot. So hot. But we we picked up little miso soups to celebrate bag. the rain. <laughs> I'm obsessed with miso. Celebrating the rain. Mm, that's really hot. It's really hot. Yeah. Be careful. Cup of miso. What a treat. Yeah. Back it's perfect in. for the sodium queen. Is it just sodium? No, but it's very salty. Sodium vibes. We wanted to talk to y'all. That's creepy to say. That was really weird. She being weird. What do we want to talk Are to you weird? about? Am I weird? Yeah. Hell yes. Check mark? Yeah. Check that one off the Check list. That one's weird AF. I'm not weird. That sucks. I'm not weird at all. That means you're normal? I'm super normal. I can't figure out if I should flip my hair on one side or put it in the middle. 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 I need an ice cube for this. Holy moly, I just burnt my tongue. I know. But. I'm normal. Okay, show us how a normal person does it. No. Do no. it. Be normal. No, Go I ahead. I don't like being normal. I'm not normal. Then why did you just get mad at me I'm for not, not normal. being normal? I'm not normal. Okay. I'm not. Okay. 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 It's crystal clear. Not cloudy like no this No longer. Yeah, isn't that cool? <laughs> This is what it would be like to go to lunch with us. Just kidding. Lunch would be much better than this. Lunch would be way weirder. <laughs> By better, I mean weirder. Clay would chew with his mouth open the whole time. Get out of here. You <laughs> Get out of here. Don't lie. I'm working on it. You are. But it is the truth. It's the truth. <laughs> I don't mean anything harmful with it. There's no evil vibes with your mouth chewing. No, no evil vibes. <laughs> yeah, there are no evil vibes. It's not evil. <laughs> oh, that's good. Got that going for me. Uh, but yeah. I am on the search for some tattoo artists. Because I'm going to get some tattoos here. So, Quite a bit of them too, probably. Yeah. And yeah, I'm just trying to figure out where to start. What to get. Here's the way the story goes. How it goes dumb. How much it's gonna hurt, because oh my, I'm Clayton has no tattoos. Afraid of needles. I've always liked tattoos, literally my whole life. I've thought tattoos were cool. I think they're sexy. I think they mm. look good. I think they're fashionable. Oh. Like, I just love tattoos. Clayton has none. That means I'm unsexy, no. unfashionable, no. uncool. No, 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 Un no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm joking. No. I'm joking. For most of our relationship, I didn't really think you ever were going to get tattoos. Really? You never made it a part of your brand. I feel like I would one day. I wanted to get like stronger because I used to be pretty scrawny. Mm. And I always thought like I didn't want to. I wanna... think tattoos look good on scrawny people. Yeah, they probably do. But like I was like really lean. But now I feel like I'm a little bit stronger too. Mm -hmm. Which I, I think they'll look better on that. I feel that. I feel like it was never like a huge part of your like. Definitely been something I've always considered though. Well, I mean, just you never really talked about them, like, and you don't have any, so it's kind of like yeah. not a part of. I don't have them that figured vibe. out yet. I have some of that I know that I want. Yeah, but 
obviously we all know Clayton looks pretty much identical to Machine Gun Kelly. Mm -hmm. So last- right now though, do, do I? <laughs> I don't know. Last Halloween, we dressed up as Machine Gun Kelly and Megan yeah. Fox and we put fake tattoos all over Clayton. We have a vlog on it if you guys haven't seen it already. And I think that it looked so good. Like, it looked amazing. Yeah. You liked them, right? Yeah, they look good. That's kind of when we started the, like, well, it just made it, like, very visual of what it would look like on yeah. him. And then we were like, wow, this, like, looks really good with your style and, like, just your look and everything. They got stuck on me for, like, That's true. a week, too. They were well, so hard to come up. These ones are going to be stuck for a they lot longer. Stuck. <laughs> well, I know, as in, like, we no, got, I like, know. a good taste of it for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm. I see what you're saying, yeah. So yeah, I think he's finally ready. He he does finally have ready. a very- Take me in. I'm gonna have to strap my ass down because I'm- chewing I'm... the mouth openly right now. Can yeah, you see? Stop? I chew the mouth open, guys. I chew soup in the mouth open. <laughs> no, no, I, you're gonna have to strap my ass down because I don't Clay, like needles. Clay does a very low pain yeah, tolerance. Yeah, low pain tolerance. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm pretty sure most boys do. So, a little nervous for the drama that will ensue, but I will also get a good kick out of it. I will be like laughing so hard, probably. Oh my god. <laughs> You're gonna be laughing. I have a laughing problem, if you've never noticed. Yeah, so I'm trying to schedule that. I might do it actually in a few weeks. But yeah, so we are trying to figure out like what's the style he wants to go for who are some artists that could achieve that style and then obviously just the things that he wants to get he wants them to be like it's hard meaningful but also aesthetic and yeah, yeah like i'm trying just, to just know. figuring it out it's it's hard so i get it i want it to look really good is the thing i guess yeah you can't like overthink it That's too what I'm hard thinking, yeah. or you'll like never do anything right. and i kind of feel like tattoos in general like look good so you can't really mess it up if you're going for like a tattooed look like for example like you don't really like machine gun kelly's style of tattoos but like he looks good because he's like like the tattoo vibe he's is happening star. yeah it's happening regardless of like oh you got this style perfectly done do you know what i mean yeah so it's like it's kind of hard to mess up i think yeah well no that's not true you can you're really bad you can. <laughs> i've seen some tattoos on pinterest that i was like <laughs> No. <laughs> what did they do there? Uh, oh my god. Well, I have some tattoos that I'm in the process of getting removed, so. You can mess things up. Right? You can mess things up, it's true. But I mean, also just don't get tattoos when you're 18 probably would be good advice. I mean, my mom definitely told me not to do that. If anyone has any um, good tattoo artist recommendations in Orange County or Los Angeles. Yeah send us their handle if you guys have any like inspo boys with cool tattoos send us love their an handle. inspo boy love an inspo boy but yeah this should be fun we'll take you if guys you along guys think to the first uh, appointment we're morons tell us we're morons please do that love hearing that one we'll say thank you very much have a good day oh i'm a little hot from the soup now mm. well, I warm. I just, oh you brought your water jug of course baby I'm gonna need that. Then you're gonna mess up my water. From what? My intake. Oh, like that. It's like that. <laughs> so yeah. Fine. Stay tuned for Clayton's tattoo to take my water. Oh, she's sharing. She's sharing. We'll bring you guys along for when he goes to his first appointment and freaks out. Oh yeah, should be good. And I'm not done getting tattoos. I'll get some. Must see TV. <laughs> Must see TV. What? Yeah. Okay. So that's the update with ourselves and our bodies. Body update. That absolutely no one asked for. But here it is. The other day I texted our friends an update, and Delaney in the group <laughs> responded. The update literally no one asked for. When I thought it was actually a very needed update. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess that's just how, it was so how far off we are on what needs to be shared. <laughs>
I wish I could give you guys more context of that update, but it's just too long of a story. Too weird. But I will say everyone would have gone about their day perfectly fine without the update. I don't know. You don't know? I think they were waiting around for that one? Yep. They needed to know that one. If we didn't tell them that that day, you think they would have just like sat around and not done what they were going to do because they were waiting for it? Yeah. So. Yeah, they are waiting for it. They're actually sitting around waiting for it, not doing anything. Waiting for an update. Like kids on Christmas morning. Mm hmm. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Exactly. Okay. That thing just puked out all my water. <laughs> we gotta go. Okay. So, if you guys remember a couple vlogs ago, we were shopping. Remember we were shopping for the chair? Oh, yeah. So, Did we do that? Yeah, we were looking for that chair. We almost got that chair at that, ju that shop called Juxtaposition. It was so expensive though, really so expensive. then, oh yeah, that's right, I think we, hold on, we came home and we like searched on Etsy for just like small wooden vintage chairs. We think that's what's in this box, we, 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 we're not even sure, because it's really small. I'm kind of scared. It came from France, if that's even what this is. Oh, I think uh, it is, right? That must have been right here. Oh, maybe we gotta put it together. Look at that little thing. Oh my god, it's so cute. It's so unique. Oh, it's like the 1800s. There's our little chair. And then we were gonna get like a picture to hang right here. Huge was our inspo. She has like a little She has like a little neck wall or wall neck. Her I don't know if it's in the kitchen or not, because we haven't been to the new house, but she had like a cute little picture and like a small wooden chair too, so she inspired this. It's a nice little size. What do you think? Is it going to work? I think so. I like it, especially I think once we have like a cool picture, mm -hmm. like yeah, right there, would be cute. Yeah. It's the perfect little size. Yeah, you could like take your shoes off right here. Can you? You need to. Yeah. Does it work? Take my heels off. <laughs> Will it hold me? I think so. I don't know. Don't, don't smash into the wall. You gotta really sit down gently. Just Big guy, it. little seat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, but that was cool find. Very unique. Antique piece from France, so. Yeah, we like to have some little like random antique vintage pieces around the house. They add a lot of character. Yep. Alright, good find. I like it, babe. Yep, it's cool.